Hey YouTube, Anna here. Um, I'm here to film my 16 week update. I cannot believe I'm 16 weeks. I'm almost halfway there. Oh my gosh. So let's get into symptoms of this week. So symptoms are acne, like crazy acne all over my neck. Um, some around my mouth, but not as much as previously, but my chin, like, oof, acne, like crazy, which is weird because like the old wives tale says, um, if you have a baby girl, it steals your beauty. And so you're likely to like get more ugly. <laughs> I don't know. It's stupid. I know. But I don't think that I had this much acne with Cecilia. I think that like after the first couple of weeks, my skin cleared up and I was like, fine, clear skin the whole way. So, and so I have acne, but I also have been very stressed out. So I feel like maybe that's sort of correlated. Um, so my two responses for like how I'm dealing with this pregnancy is that I'm crying all the time and I'm sleeping all the time. Yesterday I texted my best friend, hey, do you want to go out to dinner? And then I fell asleep in like a second. <laughs> And um, yeah, she texted me like seven times. Hello, hi, how are you? Yes, we would like to go out to dinner. Oh my gosh. Then I was like, I'm sorry, I fell asleep like immediately after I sent you a text inviting you out to dinner. <laughs> um, she understood, so she wasn't mad at me, but yeah, like it's just, it's crazy. I just sleep. And that's probably because I've been having like crazy insomnia as well. Um, I've been house hunting. Uh, we put an offer on a house last weekend. We did not get it. Um, the housing market here is insane. So the houses are listed at a certain price and it's always competitive. Like it goes way up. So we bid more and we got outbid and whatever. And so we just put in an offer on another house yesterday. And I should find out on Sunday, today's Saturday, whether I, whether we got the house. So we'll see, we'll see what it needs or what happens. But every single night I've been going to sleep like so stressed out and like dreaming up ways to expand the current house that we're in or um, remodel a house. I mean, we were like thinking we would maybe like gut this like 1950s house. It was built in 1960 actually um, and like, add all of this stuff to it and so I was just like dreaming up all of these things and like all stressed out about renovating and being pregnant and having a newborn and still not like the house being done and yeah so stress and insomnia like insane so those are my like whole symptoms and and everything for week 16 not much baby movement this week which is kind of weird um, weird for me because like last week I was kind of nervous about it and then it started happening a lot more and then I think maybe just with the stress of everything um, I'm not as focused on like feeling baby baby movement because my head is just going like a mile a minute so let's see baby is now the size of an action figure it has a little Batman um, let's see what else. How to survive pregnancy with out caffeine. I've been drinking tea, just so you know. Um, I started that like in the second trimester early on. Um, yeah, tea. I, I kind of need caffeine, which is insane. Um, let's look at fruits and vegetables just to sort of give you a dill pickle. Wow. So dill pickles vary in a lot of size and I feel like an action figure is so much bigger than a dill pickle. So that's weird. Let's see. Um, or it's a Philippine tarsier. Tarsier? Baby is now the size of a Philippine tarsier. The, it's a, oh, fist sized creature with the largest eye to body ratio of all mammals. <laughs> so it's not a very cute animal. <laughs> and I don't even know how to say it. 
So dill pickle sounds a lot better right now. I'll just go there. There you go. Dill pickle. Sounds good. 16 weeks pregnant. This is insane. Um, I signed the contract for the doula. Um, I have an appointment next week, next Thursday, to hear the baby and schedule my 20-week ultrasound. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Things are going really smoothly, so knock on wood, nothing bad has happened. I'm feeling fairly good. Nausea sort of comes and goes, but it's not intense. Um, I'm very lucky. I've not thrown up at all. Um, just like in my mouth a little bit, so I don't really count that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky. I love being pregnant and I don't really have many complaints. Um, I need to start doing prenatal yoga again. I sort of have taken a few weeks off and I really wanna get into the swing of it again because it just makes me feel better, like makes my back feel better, um, my belly doesn't feel as heavy, like all that stuff, so. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.